it is always good to maintain your gear. Not only this is going to aid longevity of it, it will keep a good appearance of your gear, but it is also going to grant your safety while using it. Windless days in kitesurfing can be used as a great opportunity to engage with those type of activities, yet mandatory tasks. This particular surfboard has an old kick pad which is due to be replaced. During one of my sessions it started to peel off to the point that halfway through one of my carves it completely fell off. But I did not let this stop me from continuing my session and as much as I could I was gripping that board with my foot which was quite challenging and slippery. At the end of the day I got good one and a half hours of surfing out of it, which is always a good thing. After my session I gathered all the bits from my old traction pad, so no, I did not leave any rubbish in the water or at the beach behind me, and I tried to reuse this old pad on the board's deck. As you can see it would not hold very well to the surface of the board anymore, and it would not last very long even if it did stick to it. Hence. It is time to replace it. In this video you can see the whole process of the installation of the new kick pad and just to add here the main objective is to remove all the remaining bits of an old pad, especially the glue and we want to have a clean, dry and smooth surface before sticking on the new pad. A good way to go about removing the glue is to use a heat source, for example a heat gun or a blow dryer to soften the glue and after also you want to use a surf comb for wax for example or you want to use uh, some sort of blade to scrape the glue off. In my case I use what I have around me and that is a metal plate and a sponge with some hot water beforehand. With all that being said, enjoy this episode.